Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We're printing our way through the D&D 5e Monster Manual, and today we are printing monster number 41, the Hezru. In the Monster Manual, I, the Hezru has kind of a silly, froggish look to it, so I really appreciate what Loot Studios did with their design. I, they, it does still look, kind of look like a frog, but a cool frog, a uh, horned toad, and then they added you know, tusks and claws and armor plating and muscles and gave it this really unique pose. It just looks like a tough figure to battle, and I think Loot did a great job. So back in the Orcus episode, we decided that we were going to purchase the entire monthly set from Loot called Nightmares of the Abyss because it included some really, really cool demons. And this Hezru is part of that set. But if you're looking for Hezru on my mini factory, there's really only two. There's this one from Yasashi Kyojin, as we've seen with some of their other work, very faithful to the design that's in the manual, only three bucks, that's a pretty good deal. And then there's this one from Lex Adams, uh, also three dollars, it was a pretty good design, but I really like this one from Loot. In terms of printing, I really had no issues. This came out fantastic. Uh, one of the rare demons that I didn't have any problems with any part of the process. And it really is a testament to what this craft is capable of. The tusks are sharp. The spikes on its head and back are sharp. I definitely wouldn't want to step on this guy in the middle of the night. Loot Studios just really did a great job with this guy. In terms of size, you can see he is about, I don't know, maybe 10, 12, 15 feet tall. And then in terms of resources, uh, because he's part of the Nightmares of the Abyss set that we already purchased, uh, this cost us nothing. It did take us almost five hours to print, and that's both the figure and the base. And so we are still sitting at $412, and we're up to about eight and a half days. This guy looks great. He printed with no issues, just really a fantastic print. But next up, we're going to be looking at one of the most pathetic monsters in D&D, the Manes.